Chevrolet Motor Division presents. Gallon per miles more. Today, gasoline rationing is a fact which many of the motorists of America must face and meet to the best of their abilities. There are many hundreds of thousands of Americans who need their cars and trucks every day. America has more motor cars than telephones. In fact, there are so many cars and trucks in use in America today that they could carry every man, woman, and child in the country at the same time. The great cities of America could not exist in their present form without the services of the automobile. In the face of these facts, it is apparent that for civilians to use no gasoline would work a serious hardship on the millions whose homes are distant from food markets and places of business. And yet the greater needs of war make it difficult for civilians in some areas to obtain gasoline. The only solution for those who cannot get all the gasoline they need is conservation. In this connection, Chevrolet owners are fortunate in that their cars have earned a reputation for economy unsurpassed in the automotive industry. Chevrolet, for economical transportation and first in economy, have long been watchwords of Chevrolet engineering watchwords that have been proved by the public. But there are vast differences in the experiences of individual drivers. Operating economy is dependent on many different factors. Some are the result of individual driving habits, some the result of the condition of the car. Be sure to advise all your customers of the points covered in this program to help them save gasoline. Every driver will be interested in the following causes of gasoline waste. Blame these on the driver. One, rapid acceleration. Two, overchoking. Three, fast driving. Four, accelerator pumping. Five, sudden stops. Six, excessive idling. Blame these on the car. One, gasoline leaks. Two, soft tires. Three, dragging brakes. Four, engine out of tune. Let's first take up wasteful driving habits. Almost every driver has one or more gasoline wasting habits and will appreciate your suggestions for correcting these habits and saving gasoline. Rapid acceleration. Quick starts, especially at traffic lights, waste gasoline because the engine cannot fully use the excess fuel pumped into the carburetor. And the rapid acceleration involved in speeding up to 20 or 30 miles an hour in second gear sacrifices economy for power and speed. The extra gasoline that is burned is a heavy cost to pay for the extra power used merely in the getaway. No driver need wait until he is going more than 15 miles an hour before shifting into high gear. Careful attention to economy in this regard, although it sacrifices quickly attained speed, will carry any car many extra miles on less gasoline. Advise your customers that this extra getaway power can be turned into extra running economy if they refrain from the temptation to jackrabbit out in front of traffic. Overchoking. Many drivers who pull out the choke when starting their cars forget to push it back in. This is one of the surest ways of getting fewer miles per gallon of gasoline. The extra richness of the gasoline mixture is not needed for maximum performance. In fact, an over-rich mixture interferes with performance. So, advise your customers to use their gasoline wisely. Tell them not to waste it by over-choking. Fast driving. Wartime is no time to give in to that common desire to shave a few minutes off normal driving time. Fast driving consumes extra gasoline. A car driven at 20 miles an hour consumes only 87% as much gasoline as a car driven at 40 miles an hour and only 67% as much as a car driven at 60 miles an hour. And at 20 miles an hour, a car uses approximately 58% as much gasoline as at 70 miles an hour. So advise your customers that by driving at reasonable speeds, they will get many more miles out of the gasoline they can buy under wartime restrictions. Accelerator pumping. Pumping the foot on the accelerator pedal pours excess gasoline into the carburetor. It actually pumps raw gasoline into the combustion chambers and wastes it. Advise your customers to use an even pressure on the accelerator pedal at all times for smoother operation, more complete combustion of their fuel, and more miles of travel out of every gallon of gasoline. Sudden stops. As a further measure to prevent waste of gasoline, drivers should always avoid sudden stops. For example, when approaching a stop sign or red light, the driver should come to a gentle stop rather than speed up to the sign and slam on his brakes. 
advise your customers that the gasoline used in driving up to a stoplight could be used in driving away from it. Every stop that is made should cover as much distance as possible. Excessive idling. The driver who lets his engine idle while he waits or chats with neighbors is idling away many miles of gasoline power and economy. Advise your customers to turn off their engines when they stop their cars. In this way, they will be able to turn idling time into economical driving time. Now let's see how the condition of the car itself affects waste of gasoline. Drivers will welcome service suggestions ensuring maximum economy. Gasoline leaks. Leaks in the carburetor, fuel pump, gasoline tank, or anywhere along the gasoline line will waste fuel. Every car that comes into your service department should be inspected for gasoline leaks, and all leaks should be called to the customer's attention immediately and repaired. Soft tires. Proper tire inflation has an important effect on gasoline economy because the unnecessary friction caused by soft tires wastes power, and wasted power is wasted fuel. Advise your customers that for the maximum economy, Chevrolet recommends tire pressures of 30 pounds all around. Some increase in riding comfort will result from slightly lower pressures, but 30 pounds is the economy pressure. For other makes of cars, consult manufacturer's specifications for proper tire pressures. Tell your customers to have their tires checked regularly to make sure the pressure remains constant. Dragging brakes. Friction caused by dragging brakes requires additional horsepower to move the car, and that horsepower is provided only by burning gasoline in the engine. Be sure that brakes are properly adjusted so that the engine can apply all its power solely in the job of moving the car with the maximum gasoline economy. Engine out of tune. Even a concert violinist couldn't get melody out of a violin that's out of tune. And for maximum economy, an engine should always be kept tuned up to the manufacturer's specifications. The Chevrolet engine, with its famed valve and head construction, gives owners a decided advantage in extra miles per gallon in these days of gasoline rationing. To assure your customers that their engines are tuned to help them save as much gasoline as possible, watch these points carefully. Spark plugs, check all spark plugs and clean them thoroughly. Dirty or worn plugs can bring about a gasoline wastage as high as one gallon in every 10. Ignition timing. Check ignition timing. Proper timing helps get maximum power from each explosion and cuts down gasoline waste. Valves. Check valves for proper adjustment. Improperly adjusted valves will waste fuel because proper intake of the fuel mixture and exhaust of burned gases is dependent on proper valve operation. Carburetor. Check the carburetor to make sure it is providing the proper fuel mixture to the combustion chambers in the right quantities. Compression. Check compression to see that it is even within 10 pounds for each cylinder. Uneven compression causes loss of power, and lost power is wasted gasoline. Air cleaner. Check the air cleaner. A dirty air cleaner obstructs the flow of air through the carburetor and wastes gasoline. While there are other factors that sometimes affect gasoline economy, we have covered the major points to be watched. Care should be taken to maintain the engine at manufacturer's specifications. Maximum economy can be attained without resorting to deviations from standard, such as smaller jets in the carburetor, or the use of trick devices. When you know your customer's car is in perfect tune, be sure to remind him again of the good driving habits that help prevent waste of gasoline that help him get the greatest possible number of miles out of every gallon. Civilian transportation is important to the life of the nation in wartime as well as in peacetime. It is up to everyone who drives a car to drive as economically as possible. And help your customers. Go farther on fewer gallons. This is your war. This is your war. My war. It's on the way, we're going to